Why don't turntables have built-in phono preamps? Mm -hmm. This question comes from Bob in Boston, Massachusetts, and he asks, why don't record players include a phono preamp? Is there some advantage to having the preamp external to the record player? It seems to me it would make more sense to put it inside of the turntable. And you know what? You're right. It would. It would make a lot more sense. And I, I've, of course, there are low-cost turntables out there that have those built in. And I originally, well, I'll give you, I'll give you some uh, examples of, of thinking that has gone on. Back when I was heavily involved in turntables, back when all we made was the phono, uh, amplifiers. I had envisioned a miniature solid state phono amplifier built into the cartridge. Now at the time, the uh, it was almost impossible. I mean, the transistors were too large. You needed oh some some manners of you know even the resistors were fairly large. We didn't have what we have today, which is surface mount. So today, surface mount products, surface mount equipment allows you to have miniaturized uh, electronics, it, capacitors, resistors, transistors, all the things we would need to build a really good low, uh, uh, low, low noise uh, head shell cartridge amplifier. You could easily do that. And I'm surprised that more people don't because there's the obvious point. I mean, if you look inside of a phono cartridge, there really isn't a whole lot there. Right? It's a little miniature set of coils. You got two coils and you got a couple of magnets and uh, not a lot else. Uh, you got a, if in a moving magnet cartridge, you've got a needle with a magnet on top and then coils of wire off to the side. And as the needle moves back and forth, the magnet gets closer and farther away from these coils, a left coil and a right coil, and you get sound. In a moving coil cartridge, you have external permanent magnets on the outside of the of the body, or not of the, uh, outside of it, but instead of hanging on to the needle, those are to the sides, and hanging on the needle is a coil, is a set of coils, and those coils move back and forth. And the reason you have one or the other is coils of wire weigh far less than a magnet. So a moving magnet is a fairly high mass phono cartridge where a moving coil is a fairly low mass, so it can get better transient response. All that said, it, it is funny that they don't use surface mount technology to build that in, and I don't have a good reason why they don't. You'd have to build a dedicated head shell arm and all of that, and my guess is that turntable manufacturers in general don't make electronics and electronic manufacturers generally don't make turntables. It's the only thing I can think of because it's a really good idea and I'm surprised more people don't. Now, having said that, let's look at some of the great phono preamplifiers uh, of our day, or <laughs> of my day, way back when, when the Audio Research SP3 was the king of the heap. That was a big device with tons of tubes and, and uh, power supplies and, there was a lot of stuff going on in there, so no way could that have ever been built even into the, 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 the chassis, the, the base of the turntable. But as, as PS Audio, as a number of companies began um, using solid state devices, yeah, we, we could have built our products into a turntable, could have easily done that, put a pair of jacks on the outside and would have been an obvious place to put it so you don't have all the long cables. and. But we never did because we never made turntables. So that's my guess. I, I, it's a really good question and something I think people interested like a turntable manufacturer uh, would be very, um, I don't know, be well advised to think something about that. I, I'll give you a quick glimpse of what, what I would like to do. I, I have always wanted to have PS Audio build a wicked cool turntable, I mean a really cool turntable, that had a 
A to D converter, like in our New Wave Phono Converter, which is an analog phono preamplifier and an A to D converter, putting out a digital audio signal that's just sweet in a separate box. I'd like to build that into the turntable and make it wireless. Now, think about this. I know, heresy, like, go, oh, God, he's going to digitize my phone, oh. But we know how to do that in a way that will not damage the, the sound of uh, vinyl, which, of course, I, and I, I make a little fun of people, but, um, well, we certainly don't want to do that because that defeats the entire purpose of vinyl is, is to, you know, have that, that very distinct sound that vinyl brings to the table, not to make a pun. And so we can do that, right? But just imagine buying a really high-end, well-crafted turntable that is completely wireless. And now you have a wireless system at your home. Your speakers, you know, are wireless. You pick up, you put on the, the needle, and it just plays beautifully through your system. I think that would be really cool, but ah, a lot of heresy and a lot of work <laughs> before that. But that's the best I got. That's the only reason I can think of. So great question. Thank you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.